Hello everyone, Jeremy here for One Protagonist. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself before we jump into the finale of The Clone Wars, and this is the series finale review, so if you have not watched this episode, please look away right now because, look away, click away right now because quite frankly, I'm going to spoil the crap out of it. We're going to have video and we're also going to have audio of my commentary during the finale, which quite frankly, I have not seen. I have not seen any social media. I've been staying away from it all morning so I could get to this. And I quite frankly can't wait because last week, well, technically it wasn't even last week. It was just a few days ago. I was a bloody mess by the time I turned British for a second. I was in tears by the end of the last episode. So I'm kind of expecting an insane ride this week. And I just don't know what's going to happen. Little background on me. I am an old school Star Wars fan. I grew up on the original trilogy. Prequels came out much later. Not that much. I pretty much had a love-hate with the prequels for the longest time. I always loved three. But one and two I always had some issues with. Mainly it was execution, not the story. But then Clone Wars came around. And I became a massive fan. And it turned me around on the prequels because, quite frankly, I finally got all those things I wanted from the films to be fleshed out in the Clone Wars. And it also delivered one of my favorite characters in Star Wars, absolutely in my top three at least, and that's Ahsoka Tano. Love her to death. I just can't say enough good things about her. And so that brings us to today, where I'm about to see the end of her story, at least in the Clone Wars. So yeah, let's get to it. I guarantee I'm going to shed some tears during this. I'm already welling up just thinking about this being the last episode. Oh god, they're using the music. Anakin on Mustafar. Picking up right where we left off. Not trying to kill them isn't practical. I get the why, but... Oh, good God, Maul. You used a helmet as a weapon? Okay, just everything's a weapon to him, never mind. I feel like he'd have been less dangerous with a lightsaber. He's ripping them out of hyperdrive. <laughs> so much. I mean, I hate him, but love him. <laughs> Holy crap. If they weren't trying to kill us, I'd be proud. <laughs> I love that. Are they crashing? No. Oh, yeah, they are. Dang. Guys, you gotta go. Oh, no. I literally know what's going to happen to these characters, and I'm still just completely locked in and afraid for them. Is that Jesse? So right. <sighs> Rex crying is gonna get me. I 
Ahsoka is so wonderful. puzzle. Love it. Damn. Dang it, Jesse. Why do you have to be so smart? Ah, crap. Maul's gonna take the right. <laughs> oh, wow. Killing clones? She doesn't want to do. Maul? <laughs> I love that she'll just take him out. Not sure how I feel about the droids. I guess they're an R2 substitute since we can't have him. Oh. Suck is ripping a shuttle out of the sky. I love it. Oh, dang it. What? Using the force to cut the... Oh my. Oh my. That's my girl. But it didn't help. Oh my god. That was brutal. The droids? Soko would rather risk dying than kill the clones. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Come on, Ahsoka. Come on. bit of an episode 2 callback. The animation on this is just amazing. Oh my goodness. And that's the end of Jesse. And all the clones that were loyal to Ahsoka. That's just brutal. Make it look like they went down with the ship. Leave Rex's armor. Leave her lightsabers. Or not. Oh, wow. Jesse. Even though I know what's coming, it's still getting me. Is this doesn't look like clones? Is, it, or is this the Empire? Holy crap! We just went ahead years. Oh my god.
and he knows. That's her blade. So a few things, other than the fact that I'm, I'm going to do a full review of the entire finale here in the coming days, but just real quick, the fact that they end on the shot of Vader's reflection in a clone helmet is astoundingly beautiful and appropriate. Just, that is the end of the Clone Wars. Vader's turn is the end. You could say it ended with the Separatists, but it really didn't. It ended with Order 66 and Anakin turning to the dark side. And that's what's made me love this series so much is that it finally gave me all that. It gave me those glimpses of Anakin turning to the dark side, a bit more so than we even got in the movies. I mean, we got it in the movies, don't get me wrong, especially in 3, of course. In 2, we saw it quite a bit. But it just, we hadn't spent enough time with Anakin, in my opinion, to fully feel the turn coming. And the Clone Wars has really helped smooth that edge out for me. It's going to take me a while to process <laughs> this whole ending. I feel like this episode isn't quite as good as the other ones have been. But only because the other ones have been so exciting and so emotional. With Order 66 being the crux of the last episode, it just makes it so much more difficult to follow that. So in this episode, it makes a ton of sense that this is the fallout of Order 66. This is Ahsoka and Rex surviving, and how they survived, and Maul as well, and then we get a nice little coda, basically, of Vader, or epilogue, whatever you want to call it, of Vader finding Ahsoka's lightsaber, and our final shot in the Clone Wars, like I said, Vader's image in a clone mask. Not only just a clone mask, one of Ahsoka's troopers masks making you think Vader suspects she's dead but is uncertain because if you've seen Rebels there's a payoff there so hopefully I, I, I can't wait to watch Rebels now and see how that plays now that I know all this so surprisingly not as emotional as last week but at the same time it still carried such a punch that I still loved it like I I can't really complain. I would have loved to have seen her try to reach out to Anakin, but when would she have had time? Could she have tried to stop him from going this far? I don't, I don't see how they could have done that. I think this whole arc has been a lot about missed opportunities, missed ways to save Anakin. In fact, the whole saga has been, well, the first three films at least, have always been about how Anakin could have been saved if certain things happened the way the way they really should have but that's what makes it a tragedy yeah. so anyway that is the final episode of Clone Wars episode 12 season 7 victory and death um, wow they could not have done much more to go out on a high note uh, like I said, short of completely changing the storyline and suddenly Ahsoka saving Anakin from turning to the dark side, I'm pretty sure they couldn't have really done much more than they did. And frankly, what they've added to the lore, just like I feel like the Clone Wars as a whole is done, is so much more than I ever expected. Like I said, I will be doing a full review of these episodes shortly. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like. Consider subscribing. I'm going to start doing more of these. And hopefully I will see you all again here in the future. <laughs> Thanks for watching and putting up with the fact that I cried at inappropriate times and snotted into the microphone. See you all later. Bye-bye.